Back when I was a teenager, I wanted nothing more than a PlayStation Portable. Nintendo was for children. Real gamers played bloody mature games with boobies and guns in them. At least that's what the mentality was at the time. Eh, these days no one really cares what you play at whatever age for the most part. But if you're in your 30s playing Peppa Pig on Steam, well, we're calling the FBI to check your basement. So today, we're going to look at a game that sold me on the PSP, this being Infected. A zombie game with metal music and metal musicians in the game. Yep, licensed music and characters. Can you guess why this game never got ported to any other platform or remastered all these years later? Infected was the game to have to me. The idea of blood, gore, metal on the goal was unbelievable at the time. It was also the only PSP game I ever beaten back then. Well, let's dive into this gem and see if it's still any good, and if there truly is, or was, at least one good game on the PlayStation Portable. And with that, Fellow citizens and friends of New York, let me say that this is going to be a great Christmas. Take it away. Worst shopping season ever? Find out at 11. Right away, you could tell this game has a comedic, unpolitically correct tone. In fact, the game has many moments where things get really 90s slash early 2000s. So snowflakes avoid this game. The developer would never get this published today. Anyways, the plot is a random viral outbreak has struck New York City, and you are one of the few people who are immune, so you fight the outbreak using a combination of guns and a unique weapon that shoots your blood at the infected, causing them to explode. I'm not kidding. Ready to splat. Now that he's wounded, he turns red. When infected or red, you can kill them with your viral gun. Your viral gun is powered by your blood, so be careful how you use it. Okay, let's move on. The gameplay, especially for the PSP, is actually not that bad. Later on, the game shows its problems and the limitations of the PSP controls hinder the experience as well, but early on, things are pretty easy to get into. You shoot the infected till they're red, then you shoot your viral gun to explode them. All infected that are nearby have a line connecting them. This causes a chain reaction and gives you bonuses and is sometimes a requirement in certain missions to complete them. My best friend. And you're my best friend too, son. Let's go sailing on Gumdrop Lake. Winner of Button Lane, the new adventures for a news flash. Like hell itself was how one eyewitness described today's slaughter at the plaza. Grandmothers had their limbs pulled off and were beaten to death with them. Mothers were ripping open the stomachs of their own children, chewing on their intestines. Diane, there's kids watching! Oh, uh... You start with a crappy pistol, and as you play and get better medals and money, you unlock new weapons and upgrades. One can get a shotgun, an SMG, a rocket launcher, and another launcher. You can get grenades, firebombs, and mini-infected nukes. You can also get hold of shields, bonuses, a viral chainsaw, which is glitched, and more. As you play and earn more money, you can buy the upgrades or unlock new characters to play as. Though some can only be unlocked by grabbing an item drop by the infected. So if you ever wanted to play as Slipknot fighting zombies in Manhattan, well, here you go. Commissioner, it's turning bad. Real bad. Damn it, 
Get me Tokyo! Prime Minister Nakajima? Commissioner Burgess. How the hell are you? It's looking dire. We heard a report that you've had some success fighting the virus in Japan. Can you help us? Mm-hmm. Hmm. My God. I see, um... Hmm. Right. Hmm. Gravy. So, what were we talking about? What'd he say? No idea. I don't speak a word of Japanese. Stop wasting time, man. We have a situation here. The only other thing is the game is mission-based, as you play through the same maps over and over again, killing the same infected over and over again. Hell, there's times where you have to escort and protect useless NPCs that just stand around and get attacked. What the hell? So the game does get repetitive and boring after a while. Plus, the clunky control scheme of the PSP doesn't help at all. I eventually quitted the game. It was nice to play through a good chunk of it again and relive in my childhood, but this game hasn't aged too well. In many ways. Stevens, I have something very important to tell you. No matter what, never- Okay, everyone, spread out! Firstly, we'd like to thank you. This is a great honor. Who are you people? Get out of here! We have a field trip from the Julia White School. This has been scheduled for six months. We're in the middle of a national crisis here. <laughs> We've been breached! He's infected! <laughs> Please, stop! Hear me? Timmy? Timmy? Timmy! 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 He's dead! You bastard! Our school is for people with severe mental retardation. He was only trying to ask you a question! Really? Boy, is my face red. Uh, folks. Hmm. This is the war room. On your right is our emergency phone to the White House. Do you know who lives in the White House? That one didn't age quite so well. At the end of the day, infected for PlayStation Portable, is a cultural gem of a nearly 20 years ago era. Holy shit, the PSP is almost 20 years ago next year. Where we didn't care about being PC and we just had fun, which I'll always support. But the dated mechanics, performance issues, this is emulated by the way, and the mind numbing basic gameplay holds it back from being a great game. I do recommend it though and give it an average score. We finally did it, folks. We found a good PSP game. This calls for a celebration. Let's shoot some mentally retarded school kids and listen to Slipknot. No? Just me? Well, you're lost. I don't like where this is going. Uh, like a beacon shining over all New York, the Rockefeller Christmas tree still stands tall, ornamented in all its- Diane, those are dead people. A big Merry Christmas from the NYVU news team to all our younger viewers. See you at 11. What the fuck was that? Why didn't you tell me we were interrupting a kid show, Howard, you fucking amateur? This has been an NYVU news special report. We now return you to Button Lane, already in progress.